I'm seeing green and purple. Mm -hmm. Green and purple. And water. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this. What is it? It's uh, water, um, kind of a lake, and white birds, and a marsh, and mm -hmm. uh, some pink colors. How does this place feel to you? Peaceful. Peaceful. I'd like for you to soak in that peaceful feeling from this place. Soak it in with all of your senses. Tell me what else you feel from this place. I feel stones under the water. Mm -hmm. Are you in the water? I think so. So take a look at your feet as you're standing in the water. How deep are you in mm -hmm. the water? I have fins. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Describe yourself for me. I'm a, I'm a person, mm -hmm. but I have, I have like a, the, I have fins. Mm -hmm. I have like, I'm like a mermaid. Okay, describe your body for me. Um, I have green and blue scales, but then I have more skin, like a person up above my waist. Mm -hmm. What color, what color is your skin? Uh, like tan. Mm -hmm. How else do you look? Mm, female. Hair, reddish. Reddish hair. Look at your hands. Do you have hands? Yes. What do they look like? They're like, uh, like I have two or three big fingers. Mm hmm. Two or three big fingers? Yeah, I don't have five fingers. I have like two or three fingers. Do they look interesting in any way? What features are interesting about your fingers? Anything? Yeah, they've kind of maybe webbed or something like that. Mm hmm. What does your face look like? Like a kind of a pixie, I mm -hmm. want to say. Mm -hmm. Kind of a forehead and then kind of points at the chin and kind of big eyes. Mm -hmm. What shape is there? are the eyes? Like oval almond, kind of. Mm -hmm. Very good. How old do you feel there? Young. Mm -hmm. But adult, but young. A young adult? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, are you inside of the water or you're outside of mm -hmm. the water? I'm in the water. Mm -hmm. I love the water. How deep is this water and mm. where you are right now? Right now, not that deep, mm -hmm. but it does get deeper. So what is it that you like about this place where you are right now? It's pretty and it's peaceful and there's no predators mm -hmm. and there's birds, but they're not a problem. Who are your predators? There are no predators. Mm. There's nothing, nothing that would harm anybody that lives here. Do you live here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or do you live with others? Let's find out. I'd like for you to close the scene and go to this another scene in the same lifetime when you are with others of your kind. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you are. Down in the deeper water. It's mm -hmm. not that deep, a little bit deeper, and it's a lot of laughter and joy, happiness. Describe what the others look like. 
kind of the same. There might be some variations in colors, like there's pinks. Mm -hmm. There's pinks and there's like silver, glittery, like scales. Are we talking about the changing colors of the scales? Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you distinguish the male from female? When you look at them, how do you know they're male or female? What's the difference? I think the males are thicker mm -hmm. and a little bit bigger, and they're more of a dark purple. Hmm. And what do the females look like? They're smaller and they're prettier and they're brighter. Mm -hmm. So tell me where it is that you live. Do you live in any particular place or are you free to roam all the time? Look and see where you live. A planet, but not here. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What are you visualizing now? I'm visualizing some land mm -hmm. off to one side, but I don't really go there, I don't think. How do you feel when you see this land? Good, positive. Mm -hmm. It's just the place I live. And there's two moons mm. in the sky. What color is the sky? purplish blue. Mm -hmm. The moons are kind of orange. Do you call this place any particular planet? Does it have a name? Y-I-L-E. Y-I-L-E is the name of your planet? Y yes. Mm -hmm. That's just what came to me. Very good. So let's find out a little bit more about your life. Let's go to a scene in your life when something important is happening. Be there now. Where are you? In the water? Mm-hmm. What's happening there? Mm. I don't see anything happening. How do you feel? I feel kind of alone. Mm -hmm. Let's find out why. I don't know where the others are. Use your knowing. What's happened to the others? I don't know. How do you feel about this? I feel a little lonely. Mm -hmm. But I'm okay. Okay. Are you off living by yourself? I think so. All right. Let's find out what's, what you do during the day. What is it that you do? I turn over rocks and I look for something. What are you looking for? I, don't, I, I want to say food. Mm -hmm. What do you but do? It's more like, a, um, it's just like plants and green stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not like bugs or snails or anything. It's not nothing like that. It's just, it's just um, fungus, mm -hmm. green stuff. Mm -hmm. Is that what you eat? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
So let's find you. <clears throat> let's see when you find something and describe to me what this looks like. It's just like green moss. Mm -hmm. What does it taste like? It tastes like green. Mm -hmm. Tastes green. Tastes good. Tastes good? Yeah. And this is your primary food? Yes. Very good. Are you? Do you find this underneath the, the water or do you look above ground for this? No, it's underwater. Do you ever go above water? I can look out there, but I don't have an interest in going out there. Mm -hmm. I can get part of my body out of the water, but I prefer to stay in the water. I love the water. Mm. So let's go exploring. Tell me what happens next. Oh, I see a little cave. I look in there. It's kind of dark. I don't want to go in there. Mm-hmm. I swim off and I'm looking at the other fish and things that live in the water. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's just a big pond that I live in. Yes. Okay. A lake. A lake. small lake. Yeah. It's very simple. Very good. So let's close that scene and let's go now to another scene in that same lifetime when something is happening. Something that's impacted your life be there now mm. what's happening I think something happened to the planet something happened to the land and the water something happened how do you how are you feeling uh, I seem to be okay with it but it's just like the life is affected and it's not the same mm-hmm so tell me what's happening now. Everything is turning gray and white. And I think things are dying. I think the plant life is dying and the atmosphere kind of went gray and white. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm kind of washed up on the land a little bit. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Mm -hmm. As you look around this place, do you feel like you have much life left? No, I don't think so. All right. Mm. So I'd like for you to go to the last moment of your life in that lifetime mm. and tell me what's happening. I see some gills or something, and mm -hmm. and I my gills are slowing down working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on the land. I'm losing my color too. What color do you have now? Uh, I'm kind of turning a black, mm -hmm. white, gray color. Mm -hmm. All right. So take your last breath in that lifetime, and transition out of that body. Feel yourself leaving that body, and as you do you'll be able to turn to find out what the purpose and what the lesson was. What do you imagine the lifetime, that lifetime, was all about? Joy and simplicity and harmony and beauty. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from there? That I should take these feelings with me. Mm -hmm. Very good. So go ahead and take those feelings with you. And as you leave that body behind, I'd like for you to now drift and float. And let me know what happens after you leave that body. Where do you go? Oh, I float up like a leaf going in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Kind of drifting back and forth, up and up. Where do you go next? I just join... I join a lot of others, a lot of giggling, happy faces, mm -hmm. just joyous and just like, they're like a whole bunch of pixies, like laughing mm -hmm. and they're happy. They're happy. I finally made it back. Mm -hmm. They may have gone before me. 
<laughs> so tell me where you go to. What is this place that you're going to? It's just like a big ocean of whiteness mm -hmm. and happiness and smiling, laughing faces giggling at me. So let's see if we find your guide. Let's continue through that ocean of whiteness and see what you what you find next. I keep seeing a man with sandals and a white robe and a, a sash. Mm -hmm. And he sits down on a bench with me. Let's find out who he is. He has like a grayish long beard. Who is this man? I think he's my guide. Mm -hmm. Ask him if he has a name. Jerem. Mm -hmm. Jerem. Jer Jerry. Uh, Jerem. Jerem. Mm -hmm. So what is Jerem telling you today? Connect with him mind to mind. Mm. He's with me a lot. Mm -hmm. He comes and goes, but he's with me a lot. He's peeks in on me all the time. So let's find out what Jerem is doing next to you in the bench. What does he want to tell you? Mm, to love myself. So what's next in store for you? What does Jerem say? Mm, I can stay there for a while. Mm -hmm. What do you What do you do when you're there? I interact with with others and talk about our experiences and our joys and our sorrows. Or like a lot of friends are a lot of like-hearted, like-minded mm -hmm. souls. Describe this place for me. What does it look like? It's like clouds. It's like clouds that you can walk on. Mm -hmm. It's like all white kind of you can see through it a little bit and it's just are there any type of can, structures there you can create structures mm. by imagining them okay but they're not really there unless you imagine them so, you can create them mm -hmm. what uh, do you create I just like to create nature and color and uh, things of beauty and things of peace. What kind of things of beauty do you create? Uh, plants and trees mm -hmm. and birds and even bugs. Mm. But they don't harm you, they're your friends. Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite in this place? I like the white birds and the, the uh, red ladybugs. Mm -hmm. And the jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Jellyfish? Jellyfish. Did you know any jellyfish when you were a mermaid? I think so. Mm -hmm. Were they your friends? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? 
What's the next thing you do when you're in this place? Where do they prepare you for a new life? I think they have to talk me into it. Mm-hmm. So let's go to this time when you're meeting with them to discuss the next life. Be there now. Oh, there's some other beings there. Mm-hmm. What do they look like? Mm. They look like people. Mm-hmm. I see my mom. She's laughing. What is she saying? She has a pixie face. Mm-hmm. Who else is there? I think my father. Oh. Mm-hmm. What are you receiving from him? I think a little anxiety. Mm-hmm. So ask Jerem to sit with you. What does Jerem tell you? Mm-hmm. He says it's all going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Yeah. Is he going to be with you? Yeah. Good. So let's find out what happens to make the decision to begin your new life again. Who's there with you? Mm -hmm. I think there's some little souls that are like siblings. That could be possibly siblings. There's parent figures. There's a decision being made of like who's gonna come along. Do you get to pick? Oh, I don't think so. Mm hmm. I'm kind of uh, a little bit dismissive. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I'm just going along with the program. Tell me about this program. What's it supposed to be about? Mm, I guess it's supposed to be about coming here. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Connect with them and see what is the mission. Why you have to come here. Soul growth, experiences... What else? I'm supposed to learn through pain. Mm. What kind of pain? From every kind. Mm -hmm. What is the pain going to teach you? For me to know that there's something different. And just to have the experience. Mm -hmm. Do you have to keep it once you experience it? Or can you dismiss it after you've learned your lesson? I think I can dismiss it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what kind of pain are we talking about? We're talking about physical and emotional. Mm -hmm. And what is the growth for? Why do you need to have this? Teaching others, mm -hmm. teaching myself. Are you going to be teaching others in, in that lifetime, or are you going to be teaching others when you return? Both. Mm -hmm. Both in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. People will learn by watching me, and they will learn by... Uh, experiencing it with me.
un émo mmh. Mmh, I like the blue sky. Is that why you come for the blue sky? Part of it. The green against the blue amazes me. Mm -hmm. What else? I like talking to the trees. So let's now find out what happened right before you come to this life of Bonnie. Who's there? People clapping. Mm. Tell me more about that. That I made it through and I was accepted. Mm -hmm. Was this a program that you needed to be accepted in? Mm, just getting here. Mm -hmm. Just getting here, being born, making it, living. Mm -hmm. Being loved and cared for. Beautiful. Very good. So now I'd like for you to close mm -hmm. that scene, close that scene, mm -hmm. and now let's go drifting and floating to another lifetime that made an impact on you. Want you to see yourself going through time and space to another time, another place where something very important is happening in that life. Where are you? Mm -hmm. I just see uh, like dirt and and uh, western boots and uh, dust and Do you feel that you have a body there? Yes. Mhm. Mm Are you male or female? Male? Mhm. Mm Tell me about yourself. How are you dressed there? Leather pointy boots, mm -hmm. dungarees, a hat, how old do you feel there? Forty. Uh, mm -hmm. What do they call you in that life? What name comes to mind? Jim? Mm -hmm. When I say the name Jim, does that resonate with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Jim, where are you? I'm in a dusty old town. Mm -hmm. Just a few buildings. What are you doing there, Jim? Do you live there or are you just passing through? I think I live here. Mm -hmm. There's not a... Oh, very nice place. Tell me about yourself, Jim. I'm kind of skinny. Mm-hmm. Just a guy. All right, so let's close that scene and see where it is that you live, Jim. Be there now. United States, like Wyoming or something like that. Mm-hmm. What year is it? It's like early, like 1820. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for a living? I think I'm having to take care of the town or the people or something. Mm -hmm. So tell me what's around you right now. What are you envisioning? There's a saloon. And there's liquor, mm -hmm. and there's women. What do you do in this place? 
I just observe. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Mm-hmm. Are you in charge of this place? Look and see if there's anything on your on your shirt of authority. No, I don't see anything. I just am kind of the watchdog of the area. People know that. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure everything is going smoothly and there's no chaos or there's no really laws or rules. We have to go by our own rules, but we have to stay within certain parameters okay. of behavior. Is everything very peaceful now? Yeah. Okay, very good. Anything else significant about this scene? What is all of your feelings? Glad the ladies are happy. Mm -hmm. Seem to be happy. The men are coming in and out of the town, traveling, traveling through. Mm -hmm. I think I w watch over some kind of uh, Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. Is that your responsibility? Yeah, I mm -hmm. think so. You take care of the ladies? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're happy and okay. I don't, I don't seem to have any feelings for them. I just want to make sure they're okay. Okay. Anything else from this scene that you pick up? Mm. I see a lady with dark hair behind the counter that I'm closer to. Mm -hmm. Who is She's she? She's a friend. What's her name? Kara. Mm -hmm. Kara. Kara. Carrie. 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 Mm -hmm. Look into Carrie's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Do you recognize those oh. eyes? I think it's my mom. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Anything else significant? No, we're just laughing. We're happy. Good. So let's close that scene now. And let's go now to another scene in that same lifetime when something very important is happening and impacting your life. Be there now. Older, like 70, mm -hmm. living quietly outside the town. With my lady friend Carrie. Mm -hmm. Just taking care of each other. How do you feel about your life? It was kind of dry and dusty and fairly simple. I feel like I saw a little bit of population starting to come into the country. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting to see like some waves of Europeans coming here. Mm -hmm. How did that make you feel, Jim? Um, oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Why is that? Because so much nature beauty has been damaged. So much of this place has been injured. Mm -hmm. People, the plants, the animals. Not so good. Not so good. Not real happy to see it. Mm -hmm. So Jim, let's go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Take a deep breath in and see yourself there now. Mm, I'm in 
bed. I'm, I'm on a like a second, a bunk bed on the top, mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Carrie is there, and somebody else is there. I can't really get up to talk to them. They're there. How old do you feel there? Mm, 78. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you, Jim? Some pain in my stomach. Some, some pain. Lower left side, some mm -hmm. pain. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with me. Lower left side of my stomach, something's, something's wrong. So let's go to the last moment of your life there. Take your last breath and transition out of that body. Leave that body behind. And as you do, I want you to go drifting and floating away from that scene and tell me as you drift away what was the purpose of that lifetime mm, to be with Carrie mm -hmm. was that successful mm, yeah mm -hmm. we were friends we had fun what lessons did you learn from that life mm, companionship laughter joy mm -hmm. Very good. So as you drift away, I want you now to go to a, the life where all of the origin is of the love for animals. Let's go drifting and floating to that life that has impacted you so much to be at one with the animals. Be there now. What are you experiencing? Mm -hmm. A lot of different creatures. Mm -hmm. Describe them for All me. sizes and shapes. And... But they're all beings. Mm -hmm. They're not just animals. They're beings mm -hmm. with souls. What is this place where you are? It looks like, like... Like not here, it's like... Mm -hmm. Describe it. I want to say jungle, but like a lot of animals all getting along together. Mm hmm and uh, communicating with our minds and I must be one of them too mm -hmm. what do you look like? I keep seeing spots mm -hmm. and a long neck tell me more like I'm purple mm -hmm. but I'm like a giraffe but I'm purple what color are the spots? Darker purple. So it's purple on purple? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's just all kinds of other different... It's like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. It's like... They're just hopping around and being silly. Mm -hmm. They just want to make each other laugh. They're like they're all children or puppies or something. How you, how old do you feel? Huh? Like fifteen. What is your personality like there? I'm just happy and laughing all the time. Mm -hmm. And then looking at everybody else act stupid mm -hmm. and laughing at them. It's just all about. 
joy and laughter and making each other laugh. Mm -hmm. And how do you make each other laugh? Do you speak? We speak through our minds mm -hmm. and we do really silly things. Like what? Like, like act goofy. Like, uh, like doing silly things to make each other giggle. Mm -hmm. It's like we're children and like we're puppies, like we're, that's all we care about is how we're going to make each other laugh the next moment. Mm -hmm. And we're all different kinds of colors. Yeah, I just keep coming back to some kind of Dr. Seuss scene. Mm -hmm. Very good. <laughs> Very good. So I'd like for you now to leave that scene. Leave that scene behind and take a deep breath in. And let me speak with that voice within, the voice of your higher self. To have permission to speak with the higher self today. Yes. Very good. Thank you. I know that you could have shown Bonnie many different lifetimes today. Why did you show her the one of the mermaid? To tell, show her how she, why she loves water so much. Mm -hmm. And that being alone isn't so bad. And... Uh, why she shouldn't eat fish. Mm. Is this something that she's been contemplating? Well, she occasionally eats fish, and she, then she feels guilty, and then mm -hmm. like she really shouldn't eat fish. All right, so let's change her diet now to remind her that she was one of the water creatures, yes. and that eating fish would be like eating one of her own. Yes. Very good. Does she have a strong connection with the fish world, mm -hmm. with the aquatic world? Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. And are those from the aquatic world communicating with her in any way? Do, mm -hmm. do they communicate with her? The dolphins and the whales. Mm, they do. Mm -hmm. So she has a connection with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has... Uh, a lot of feelings for them, mm -hmm. and they know of her. Is there anything that she can do to make that relationship better? Meditate, pray, mm -hmm. talk to people. Very good. Now, when she came in here today, she said that she specifically did not want to see herself dying in some sort of a marsh. And that's specifically what you showed her. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you show her that? <laughs> was that what she was afraid of? No, not exactly. She was afraid of, like, drowning in a marsh. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess. But she died on the uh, sand. Yes. Yeah. Very good. So do we need that fear of that anymore? No. All right. Can you disconnect that from her? She doesn't need to yeah. be thinking about that anymore. Very good. Yeah. And then you showed her another scene. You showed her another life where she was pretty much in between lives, in the afterlife. Would you tell her what was going on in the afterlife with her guide, Jerem? Uh, it was reunion and... Uh, planning and reunion. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about Jim? Why did you show her that life of that man in, in the West? <clears throat> uh, he just saw some depletion of the natural resources and 
to enjoy his life with Carrie. Very good. So she seems to <clears throat> have a connection with, with her mom. <clears throat> what is the connection with her mother? Deep soul friendship. Deep soul friendship. Oh, I have animals with me. Mm -hmm. What animals do you have? I have all of them. What do they have to say? She's very interested. Who's her spirit animal? Oh, Murphy. Murphy. Mm -hmm. It's magnificent. She has many spirit animals. Mm -hmm. Are they all dogs and cats? There's so many animals. Animals of the oceans and animals of the trees and animals that with fur mm -hmm. and wild animals, tiger. Are there any there that want to talk to her or do they communicate differently? They all send their love and their joy and their honor. Mm -hmm. And their gratitude. Well, Bonnie wants to help other animals. She has a lot of emotions with them. How can she help them more? Mm -hmm. She prays for them every day. Keep connecting to Source. Keep praying for them. Mm -hmm. Send out healing around the world so people can see People can see what's being done to the animals. People can see that the animals are souls and that they're people too. And they give so much to us and they give so much love to us. And to open the eyes of the people, open the eyes of the people People need their eyes to be open and to see the pain they're causing, the sorrow. How can Bonnie do that? How can she relay this to the masses? Doing what she's doing now. Mm -hmm. Doing what she's doing now in any other way she can find to. By example, or by uh, when she talked to the media last month, she didn't think she was doing anything. She didn't even want to do it. But so many people felt her pain. She could hardly speak. She was in so much pain, but she got through to some people. Just when opportunities come up, not to be shy and to take those opportunities to speak and to live by example and if a few people start thinking and knowing it will slowly start spreading and in a hundred years this will be a different planet Maybe 150 years, people won't eat animals anymore. They would never think of torturing an animal. There's abundance here. The planet gives us abundance. Not the animals that share the planet with us, but the plants that so willingly give, give the people food. Mm-hmm. She doesn't think she's doing enough, but every opportunity she will take. And the prayers are things, mm -hmm. and thoughts are things. 
and the white light around the planet is helping. People are joining, joining in together to help and all of this is helping slowly but I know it's not enough right now. Mm -hmm. Are the animals asking for this? Some are and some aren't and some are not aware mm -hmm. and some it's a personal choice some it is not a personal choice many 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 is not a personal choice so they don't come here to be tortured and butchered no what is the purpose for an animal to be here what do they do for the planet they are beings that that share our planet and they give experience and they give love experience mm -hmm. experience not to be used for fur or skin mm -hmm. or meat so does Bonnie have a superpower that she can use? Or is it her voice? It's her thoughts okay. and her intentions and her voice. Very good. And there will be someone to help her. There will be a guide to help her. Very good. To have more opportunities. And she'll know to take when to take those opportunities. Do we need to call in that guide now? Or is that guide already in place? That guide is energy is a orange and mm. purple and is a swirl. Hmm. It's coming in. And he'll help her? Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. May I speak to the higher self again? Yes. Thank you very much. We know now how she can help the animals. How can she help Mother Earth? Same thing. Talk about it. Get the word out. Make people understand. Cities are not a good thing. It's just a scab. Mm -hmm. It's a scab. It's a scab that will be healed. Mother Earth can take care of it. Mm -hmm. Now, usually scabs fall away. Yes. So what do you envision? happening to these scabs all over the world. Her scabs will end. It will be a while. Mm -hmm. But it will be a long while. Hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee that eventually the earth will be back into its natural oh, state yes, again? no doubt. Mm-hmm. Does Absolutely any, no doubt. Does anything big have to happen in order to cleanse the earth of all of these scabs? There will be like rising energy of humans in their thoughts. Mm -hmm. They'll make changes and there will also be natural disasters and things will not be rebuilt. Mm. People will know not to pull up the center of the earth and put it on the top of the earth. Mm -hmm. It's not natural. It has to, it has to be recycled down under, and it will. Mother Earth can handle it. It would just mm -hmm. like a little bit of an infestation. How should we humans 
look at this foreseeable future of earth changes and things like that. How shall we think about it? Is there any concern for us? Well, there's always a little bit of concern. Mm -hmm. And there's always going to be a movement. And some things are going to happen and that will not stop. It has gone on for eons and it will continue for eons and the people are somewhat temporary but not in any kind of a near future scenario Okay. at all. We're not at any danger now but eventually it'll shake off and all be recycled under, back under. Okay, so it'll be pulled under the ocean again and... Yeah, it'll all recycle. What else do we need to take care of today? Blessings to her in her new life. Everything will be fine. Wonderful. One question, should she get rid of her TV? No. Okay. Good. Any other messages for anybody else at this time? Find more time for laughter. Mm-hmm. Silliness? More silliness? Yes. Okay. Find Good. silliness again. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Are there any other questions that I could have asked that I didn't today that you'd like to throw in? No. Thank you very much. Are we complete? Yes. Thank you so Look much. That. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, you're amazing. <laughs> you're so in tuned. You're hey. so in tuned. Yeah. How's your body? I felt you right here. Yeah. I didn't go yeah, anywhere. Like, yeah. Were you able to see anything or you just no oh, yeah. just I use my imagination. Your imagination too. You know? too. Okay. So you're wearing purple. All you're missing is Oh the my spots. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> there was blues and greens and purples, wasn't there? Yeah. Some kind of purple a giraffe. giraffe. Giraffe was a purple giraffe. Uh huh. A silly one. Yeah. <laughs> So that's, that was your message of the a, day. A silly purple giraffe, okay. So how long do you feel that you were on this journey? Um, hour and a half. Yeah, you're right on the, on the number. Mm. So how do you feel like to be in hypnosis? Hmm. It felt fine. It felt, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> did you see clearly everything? Yeah. You did? Yeah. I think I did. Good. I mean, I'm sure there's things I missed, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, is this something that you want to share with others? You want to keep it personal? Um, I'd like to look at it, and yeah. I, I just want to uh, share things that would be helpful to anybody. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. And yeah. then, yes, I, I would. I think the part about the animals was pretty intense, huh? Well, yeah, it did feel mm -hmm. intense. Yeah. It's... And about the planet. Yeah. But uh, it seems like the planet will take care of itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm calling scabs. Yeah, scabs. Scabs. The cities are scabs. And yeah, it's it's, it's seems that way, doesn't it? it? It's the the um, yeah the asphalt is like scabs. Mm, scabs. It's been injured and it's been injured and it can't breathe life. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. So <laughs> how amazing as she thinks she is. So and more very personable. So now that we've been through this, what do you what do you feel? What do you feel now that you've been through this? Um, well, I got the message to, is to find happiness and not yeah. work so much. Yeah. Yeah. Be silly. Be silly. Yes. Be silly. And when you were on that planet with all of the animals, I was laughing. <laughs> well, I mean, I was, was feeling silly. I was feeling, laughing at them. You were laughing because they at were them. making me laugh. And, and this, it seems to me, because you have so many animals, that that's what the animals seem to do. Yes, I'm always mm -hmm. laughing at them. Mm -hmm. I am. So it's kind of like you're still in communication with the animals. Yeah, I'm always laughing at yeah. them, for sure. And what was it like to be a mermaid? 
Uh, it was. I I just love the water, yeah. and and uh, I guess that's probably where it came, I came from? from. Yeah, it was a different in the water. But it was a different planet. Yes. And and what do you feel happened to that planet? Because it seemed to have died. Did something hit it? Or yes, I, th I think something injured the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it was all dark, almost like maybe an explosion or something happened. It was like ash. It turned to ash. Ah. It, it turned to white, okay. white ash and gray. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And then the life of Jim seemed to have been very. It's okay, right? Yeah. Very was, simple life. It was a simple life. Mm -hmm. um, um, cared for people. Yeah. Um, spent time with my mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've been going around from lifetime to lifetime together. It seems like you're mm -hmm. kind of like a soul, soul yeah. sisters. Yes, we're definitely soul sisters. Yeah. So would you recommend this to others? I recommend it to others that feel they need it, yes, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or even curious. Mm -hmm. So how, tell everybody how it felt to be in hypnosis. What was the, the feeling? Um, was it sleep? No. <laughs> okay. It wasn't sleep. Were you aware of your surroundings? Yes, mm -hmm. I was aware I was in this room, uh -huh. and I was aware that I was in the places that were in my mind. Okay, so you were in both places. Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you consider this mostly like a daydream, kind of like it felt like a daydream? Yeah. But did you feel the, ex the, the feelings of, of where you were? Yes, yes I did. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't feel any, any horror or mm -hmm. terror or, or grief really, mm -hmm. other than I was frustrated that I had to come back. <laughs> I was frustrated that people were making yeah. some decisions for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And I don't think I was looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Now you know why you feel the way you do. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, what else? Oh, we felt strong feelings about, mm -hmm. yeah, a message about the planet, yeah. the animals more so, yeah. and people's attitudes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was for you to wake everybody up? I, I hope. Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, okay. if, if you would like a session with me, all you have to do is go to my website, albawyman.com, and I travel all over the world. Uh, so if you want a session in your town, you just go to my Out of Town tab, you go to the bottom, sign up for the newsletter, and I will send out to everyone where I'm going to next. If it's a city near you, just sign up, and I hope to see you soon. Until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>